Yeah, good evening students. I told you already from the first onwards I am going to teach the 10th class subject. So already I gave you introduction on first. But to make somewhat clear to understand in the easy way I made a video. For that I took the time to give this session means now what I am going to teach already you saw that thumbnail so there it will be display on that board how do you prove that light is essential for photosynthesis my dear students so listen carefully first what I am what I am going to say those who have interest to listen up to end and you can give the your comment whether it is good or bad how it it will it will be after completion of that okay so why because it it took uh, more uh, risk to make this video so that's why don't waste this uh, video you can learn easy way i am going to give this question it is given as a four marks or six marks because according to new pattern i am going to explain this question so meanwhile uh, some new questions are I am going to ask so there I am going to explain about that question and answer also so that's what listen carefully those who are not interested quit immediately otherwise it is no use because it is very interesting and uh, risky task here I made so that's what so use it in the proper way okay let me start the content so what is our thumbnail how do you prove that light is essential for photosynthesis? This is a question. So before going to discuss about this question, in the introduction what I taught, once I am going to revise, then I will start this answer. So all green plants are called autotrophs because they can prepare their own food. To prepare their own food, these green plants require some of the raw materials. Those are external factors and internal factors. Already I taught about external and internal. So which are outside of the plant body, those are called external factors. See sunlight and carbon dioxide outside of the plant body. So that's what those are called external factors. What are internal factors which are present in the plant body? So here chlorophyll and water, these are internal factors inside the plant body. So when these four are available for the plant, then only the green plants can prepare their own food. So they can prepare the starch by the process of photosynthesis. So that's what green plants are called autotrophs. Now that thumbnail what is here, how do you prove that light is essential for photosynthesis? So what is the role of light in the photosynthesis, which is we are going to discuss in this session? It is a lab activity. So for this, we have to write five steps. Already you learned in the eighth and ninth. So once again, I am going to display on that. First aim, second step materials, third step procedure, fourth step result, fifth step precautions. So aim, material, procedure, result or conclusion or observation. And last one is a precaution. So these five steps we are going to apply in this session by doing the activity. So first I will start the aim. So what is the aim here? Light is essential for photosynthesis. Aim, light is essential for photosynthesis. The second step we are going to discuss that is about materials. So what are the materials required for us? So let me show all the materials one after one with a brief information. Now materials required. This is the second step already I taught you. First one is potted plant. So first we need a potted plant. Next iodine solution we need. Next we need a petri dish. This is called petri dish to wash the leaf after completion of boiling. Next we need a beaker. 
so this is beaker in this beaker we will take water and we will boil test tube and methylated spirit next item we need test tube this is a test tube so in this test tube methylated spirit and leaf we will keep next we need a dropper to apply iodine solution on the leaf after completion of boiling next we need a spirit lamp to boil the methylated spirit next we need methylated spirit to boil the leaf in the test tube so to start boiling we need a match stick this is one more item along with uh, these all items water plant uh, iodine solution petri dish beaker test tube light screen dropper spirit lamp methylated spirit match stick and along with this water also required yeah then i think you saw that materials what are required for the activity so that materials we are going to use in the procedure one by one and we are going to make this activity so let me start the procedure it is a third step procedure first we have to take a potted plant so potted plant we have to take and we have to keep it in the dark room one potted plant we have to choose and we want to keep it in the dark room three to four days three to four days one plant which is in the pot that we call as potted plant that we have to choose which is with the green leaves then we want to keep it in the dark room so this is the first uh, we have to start in the procedure so here one question i am going to ask you and that answer also i am going to explain why do we keep that potted plant in the dark room why do we keep that potted plant in the dark room so that answer is so already that green plant prepared starch in that plant leaves starch is there if we don't keep that plant in the dark room whatever the activity we are going to do it will be fail so that uh, process will fail without keeping in the dark room so maybe you will get uh, as a two marks question this one so that's what you can note down this why do we keep potted plant in the dark room to remove already prepared starch to remove already prepared starch then after three days we will bring it outside that plant so after three days already starch completed so how do we find means that leaves will get wrinkles so that appears inactive then we have to bring out the plant from that dark room while we are bringing outside the plant we have to arrange a light screen or a black paper light screen or a black paper why we are going to use this light screen or black paper means that light screen or black paper will not allow the light on the leaf which is we are going to use to arrange this light screen so one upon the one leaf we are going to keep this light screen or black paper without falling light on that leaf so that is a purpose so here also there is a question why do we keep light screen on the leaf to avoid light rays on the leaf to avoid light rays on the leaf then we are going to keep this plant in the sunlight 5 to 6 hours so along with this light screen that potted plant we are going to keep in the sunlight how many hours 5 to 6 hours why within the 5 to 6 hours that green leaves absorbs sunlight and it can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis by the process of photosynthesis so all leaves get sunlight except the leaf 
which we used along with the light screen because that light screen will not allow light on that leaf so this is the process up to 5 hours we have to keep in the sunlight then we have to cut the leaf which is with the light screen and you can take one more leaf also along with that then you have to take a beaker and you pour some water in that beaker then you have to take a test tube then you pour methylated spirit in the test tube then you can insert leaf in the test tube so the leaf which is with the light screen and the leaf another one which we took that both leaves you can keep in the methylated spirit then the methylated spirit test tube you, you have to keep in the beaker water then you have to boil the water you have to boil the water don't confuse here so in that in the test tube we have to take methylated spirit in that spirit we have to keep so two or one leaf but why two or one leaves i said here means directly the leaf which we arrange a light screen that one only you can use to know to compare you can take another one also so that's what you can keep that light screen leaf or along with that light screen leaf another one also you have to keep in the methylated spirit then that test tube with the methylated spirit along with the leaves keep in the beaker water so you have to boil only beaker water here so this is very 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 important so here there is a question on this methylated spirit again it may give us two mass question why do we boil this methylated spirit in the beaker water why do we boil methylated spirit and leaf in the beaker water what is the purpose why don't we boil the test tube directly in the flame by using the spirit lamp by using the spirit lamp so we we will use a spirit lamp to boil beaker water along with the methylated spirit so here why we are using that uh, test tube in the beaker water that is a question why don't we boil the test tube directly in the flame by using the spirit lamp so there is a reason if we boil methylated spirit directly by using the spirit lamp that methylated spirit will burn will get a flame because that is a spirit it will catch the flame and that leaf spirit it may harm to the person who is doing this activity so that's what it is a precaution at the end i am going to explain about this so that's what you should not boil methylated spirit directly in the flame you have to use that test tube in the beaker water you have to boil the beaker water beaker water will get heat then it transfer into methylated spirit so this is the process we are going to do then why did we boil that leaf in the methylated spirit this is another question why did we boil the leaf in the methylated spirit so in the beginning we kept that potted plant in the dark room to remove already prepared starch but here when we boil the leaf in the methylated spirit to remove the chlorophyll from that leaves if we boil that leaves in the methylated spirit chlorophyll will remove starch will be remain in that leaf after boiling you have to remove the leaves from that test tube then wash in the petri dish with the fresh water then use iodine solution on that both leaves use iodine solution on that both leaves so then what will happen here so where light absent on the leaf there there no color changes where light falls there the color changes we will find blue black color which means whatever the raw materials require water chlorophyll sunlight and carbon dioxide 
all are available remaining places except the light screen where we use light is absent lack of light or absence of light their starch will not form their starch will not form so the fourth step is observation so absence of light green plants cannot prepare starch so that's what here where we arrange the light screen their starch didn't form by the process of photosynthesis this is a conclusion or observation or result then the last step what is the last step the last step is a precaution what precautions you have to take so whatever the potted plant which we took we should keep in the dark room first without fail then while we are arranging light screen on any leaf that light screen should be tight it should not allow light from any direction if light falls on the leaf from any direction so there also starch formation occur when you test with the iodine solution there also that leaf turns into blue black color so then your experiment will fail so that's what arrange the light screen in the proper manner without allowing light from any direction this is a second precaution then what is the third precaution while you are boiling the leaf in the methylated spirit so take care yourself you should not boil leaf directly in the methylated spirit because already i taught to you flame will catch by the methylated spirit and it will burn so experiment will fail and you may get a harm also so that, that's what you have to prevent all these things so then using burning splinter whatever the other materials you are handling handle with the care so without losing any item and without failing this experiment so this is the main concept about light is essential for photosynthesis i think so you understood students so here all pictures are appearing left side to me so that you can observing i think so you can learn in the easy way whatever the questions i asked that questions may get as a two marks but this the total question according to new exam pattern six marks question so this five steps along with the introduction you have to write so you can use this video you can learn immediately you can practice in your rough notes by writing this activity then i am going to give the link also in this so blog link so in that i am going to write the total content in the clear way so this video will be there and this pictures also will be there you can observe there you can read there after your practice completion once you check that then you will learn everything whatever the questions are there in this that you are going to learn so this six mass question useful for your annual examination